There's yep. a picture in my head. We are going whale watching. This is crazy. I've never done this before. I think I'm not bummed. Because they're getting ready. I'm really excited. What do you think you're gonna see? Whales. And I'm gonna see sometimes orcas and I'm gonna see some dolphins. We're just waiting. We're waiting for our, for us to board. Are the rooms ready, Jared? I know that's hard to watch. It actually lasted for a little over 20 minutes. Sophia was having a panic attack. This is not a fit, and this was also not her first time. She has had some panic attacks in the past, um, but they were over at least two years ago. So this was very unexpected. Her first panic attack was shortly after she was in a car accident. She was at the age of six, shortly after she was starting to have these panic attacks. She would be reacting to any loud noises that made her think that she was in danger. Um, she was also really afraid to get into a car again, which is understandable after you're in a car accident, especially for a little kid. Back to what was going on when we were on the boat. I walked her over to the middle of the boat. There, it was much calmer. Um, we just sat down on the floor and I started talking to her and asking her what it was that she was afraid of. Immediately, I knew that it was important to convince her that no harm was gonna come to her and that she was safe. That it was important to get her mind off of what she was thinking she was in danger of. I needed to remain calm and very positive because whenever you get stressed or agitated over a stressful situation, I think it can make whoever you're trying to calm down even worse. Trying to let her know that these are professionals on the boat and nothing's gonna happen and showing her that, you know, I'm relaxed, I'm being like positive and I'm not freaking out and then maybe, you know, that person that's panicking is like, okay, you know, everybody seems to be fine. Once we figured out what the problem was, we were able to address it and reassure her that she was in no danger. It took a good 20 minutes for Sophia to completely calm down and relax. Um, what really helped is a little girl who saw Sophia in distress and she came over and sat next to Sophia and just started talking to her and just totally distracted Sophia and got her mind off of what was going on and she did a complete 180. She was completely fine after that. It was crazy to see her talking and laughing when just a few minutes ago she was like in complete distress and fearing for her life. Um, I did want to share this because I think it's kind of important to address, you know, 
what to do when a panic attack happens and how to deal with someone. Just to remain calm, address the concern, and then overcome the concern. Apparently Sophia is still vulnerable to panic attacks and we do need to be more careful with situations that um, we allow her to be in or we bring her in. Maybe in the future we could have like a plan in place to whenever that happens, what do we do in that situation and just be more prepared because I didn't feel completely prepared <laughs> for that. Um, thankfully she calmed down and realized that everything was going to be fine and it was crazy because Right when that happened, we heard someone scream out, Whale! That was fun. That was fun? Yes. Almost too much fun. <laughs>